Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an object in your uh, uh, your photos in Photoshop and make the uh, the object look like it's popping out of your picture, um, sort of a 3D effect in your in your images in Photoshop. Um, <clears throat> this uh, technique can be used in many areas, and I'll certainly let you uh, decide where you want to use it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get started. As you can see, I've already done a little bit of work on this already photoshopped image that I found at a, uh, a very common uh, free stock photography site that you probably also use, um, or have heard about. <clears throat> anyway, what I've done is I've cut the object out, which is, in this case, uh, this uh, lovely, lovely young woman. Um, I've cut her out already. As you can see, when I uh, make my background layer visible and invisible, uh, I cut her out and... Uh, uh, I cut her out of a, a copy of this background layer that I had made. So I made a copy of the background layer. I named it Cutout. And I cut the grill out of, uh, of that copy that I had made. And uh, if you need to learn how to cut an image out of a, a photo in Photoshop, uh, you can certainly find that online as well. <clears throat> uh, the next thing that uh, we're going to do is we're going to make another copy of this background. So I just drag that background layer into my new layers area, and it'll make a copy. I'm going to make my original background layer invisible. And I'm just keeping that around in case I need to revert back to it later. You never know when you're going to need your original image. So um, I'm going to rename this picture because this is the picture that my cutout's going to be popping out of, as I described before. I'm going to go, now I'm going to go up to Image, go down to Canvas Size, and I'm going to make sure that this relative uh, checkbox is checked, and I'm going to add an inch around all the way around the edge. Um, my uh, my image is very large, so uh, adding an inch all the way around is not actually adding a ton of space um, vis visually to this image. If your image is smaller, you'll add a little bit less space. Then what I'll do is I'll uh, make a new layer. And we'll just call it border, and we're going to place it below everything other than that background that we had saved. And we're going to take our paint bucket tool. We're just going to fill in that, make sure our foreground color is white here. Um, and we're just going to fill in that uh, layer with white. So it looks like we have this white border around our picture, kind of like a Polaroid. And then what we'll do is we'll select our uh, layer that we've named border, which, which is a white layer now. And we'll select our uh, layer that we've named picture. Uh, we'll uh, hold down shift and select both of those. And what we'll do is we'll go up to the top to layer and down to merge layers. And that'll just make that one layer, and it should still be called picture. Um, <clears throat> and now it just is a, it's a really simple uh, transformation. What we do is, uh, with our picture layer selected, and uh, our cutout layer up above that, but with our picture layer selected, we go up to edit, down to transform, and to distort. And what we'll do is we'll just drag these corners in, go down and in a little bit to make it look like that layer is just sort of laying a little bit flatter. And if you do it this way, um, you can completely cover up the girl that's in this background image um, with the girl that's popping out of the picture. And you can go ahead and just apply that if you want. Um, if you go up to Edit again, down to Transform, you can go to Warp, and uh, sometimes it's kind of nice to put a little wave in the picture. So you can just kind of mess around with these different anchors a little bit, put a little wave in the picture. And so I'll just do that. And I'll go ahead and just apply that by clicking on this arrow, and apply. Um, and now, as you can see, um, this image doesn't lay on the border quite right. So what we'll do is we'll just drag that up a little bit. We'll select that image. And actually, let's go ahead and drag it down so that it's covering that border, covering up that girl completely on the on the background image. I'm just gonna make sure that she's completely covered. And if she doesn't completely cover, what you do is you just uh, completely cover, and you'll go uh, to edit transform and you'll just make her simply make her a little bigger until she does um, cover that background image and I'm just holding down shift to scale her evenly and I'll just uh, take her up here and drop her back down in the image 
And then what you can do to kind of clear up this border area is uh, take your eraser tool, get a kind of a smaller brush about the size of the border, and you can just uh, make sure that you're on your your masked area, and you make sure your hardness is set to about let's say 88 or so, and you can just uh, click, and then you can uh, hold down the shift button. And then you can click about where you think that border is going to be, and just kind of erase away the girl to expose that border a little bit. And I'm going to just go ahead and do this. You can always draw her back in, which might be a little bit easier once you can see your border. Click my arrow tool, and I'll just move her over a little bit so that she's on the border there. Zoom in a little bit down here, and just, uh, yeah, you just erase until you like what you have on the border. Okay, and I did a pretty quick job there. You might want to take your time a little bit more than I did, of course. But uh, this is pretty much what you, uh, you end up with, and uh, I'll go ahead and select both layers and shrink them both down a little bit so that you can see everything. Uh, you press Control t and hold down Shift, and you can just drag in one of those corners and shrink it down a little bit. And press the arrow, press Apply, and uh, it has applied that image. And I'll go ahead and I'll add a new layer, place it behind everything. And I'll just fill it in with black so that you can see what this looks like. So you'll end up with something like this, with your uh, with your girl popping out of the picture. Um, you can certainly put your own little twists on it, um, and uh, and uh, and you know do whatever you want with it. Have fun with it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I, uh, I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to my blog. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, thanks again.